Hi everyone, we made it to Friday. No cider today, we've got white wine spritzer. Hi Natalia. Hi, Baileys. So first question of the night is leave me a comment and let me know um, what you're drinking. No ass balls tonight because upon reflection, I thought that um, um, actually uh, was pretty drunk last night and then realized it was nearly as strong as wine and I was drinking a whole bottle of it. So I thought white wine spritzer with a good old dose of soda um, that way, hopefully won't be talking rubbish by the end of this Facebook Live. Mm. 27 people. Hi everyone. So um, we are carrying on with the positivity rules. Stitch along sneak peek. So as you can see, I have not done that much since last week because it's been a bit busy. Um, but I am now moving on to stitching. This is a window and I'm moving on to stitching the window, the middle bit, the window frame. This is part of a rainbow. We've got a row of flowers here for um, a window box. And also, I'll do a quick flash up, not me, don't worry, not like earlier, a quick flash up of what it should look like. That's gonna be the window. And then the rainbow, you prepare yourselves. That's it, that's it. Okay, so this is pale pink fabric. We're up and running, Rosie, yay. And Mandy, pink gin and tonic, nice. It really does make you appreciate alcohol, I think, in times like this, because previously, when you could just buy any alcohol you wanted whenever, um, I didn't really appreciate it enough. So now, I'm probably down to one bottle of Aspals, one bottle of Prosecco, um, a neighbour kindly the other day gave me a bottle of rosé and white wine, um, not too close, don't worry, um, which had even been in their fridge, so it was nicely chilled. In fact, this is the white wine. So if you're watching, thanks, Lauren, because um, this is your wine, thanks. <laughs> Fiona, why aren't I using the Positivity Needlewinder? Well, because I'm still using the Koala, um, because they haven't arrived yet, Fiona. So I think like last week I said it was meant to be something like 12 days and it's seven days later. I'm still not holding out my hope for another three days with everything that's going on. Um, but maybe they'll be here by next Friday and I can show you. Um, sun sounds nice, Victoria. I haven't actually been in the sun at all today. Um, yeah, I've been working today. It's a funny one. Um, I tend to try and work at the moment when everyone else is at work. I work when people, sorry, I work when people aren't working. Um, a sneak peek, sorry Fiona. Um, I will put up actually Fiona and Carla, the Positivity Rules Rainbow and Clouds Needle Minder imagery on Instagram, maybe tomorrow, possibly. All the day after because some other fun news is tomorrow we are starting the competition for positivity rules to win a full cross stitch kit with the fabric of your choice and one of the needle minders I might even put it in a pouch as well um, so the whole prize is worth around 45 pounds and you can choose your fabric we have also got this is the even weave which is gorgeous I would probably be stitching on this um, but it just it takes me longer than it does to stitch on, Ada. Um, so this is a gorgeous Spygart Murano in colour 403, which is this gorgeous blush. Um, so yeah, so the competition launches tomorrow. You will see on the main Facebook page um, the main competition post. So all you have to do is like and comment to enter that as usual. And that will be drawn on the 22nd of April, two days, not four, two days before pre-order opens on the 24th. My head's a bit all over the place today because um, I spent a couple of hours filming the Positivity Rules video. Um, so I've been listening to myself talk all day long. Hi Lauren. Lauren, I was just saying to everyone, um, this is your wine. Thank you. <laughs> Hi Rosie. So stitching socials. I keep saying to everyone I'm going to email, which I am. Um, so there was supposed to be a stitching social at the end of April and there was also another one in May. Um, so 
I think the chances of them going ahead right now are slim to none. Um, so what we're going to do, so if you would like a refund, you can have a full refund of your ticket price. However, um, we will be having more stitching socials. We've got 83 people. Hi, everyone. It's exciting. Um, hi, Michelle. Hi, Hayley. Yes, happy birthday and first stitch along. It's amazing, Hayley. Thanks, Hannah. Um, so there will be more stitch, uh, stitching social events. So these are our social events where we cross stitch and there's an exclusive kit and needle minder and we drink Prosecco and have snacks and everything else. Um, so I am in talks at the moment with the venue. I haven't heard back yet, but I'm trying to postpone them. Well, that they will be postponed. Um, that is the plan um, until we're allowed to have them again. So if that is September, I will get a date one way or another in September or October or November. So the other ones were on Saturdays and Sundays. So I will make sure that those correspond to the new dates. I'll make sure that everyone who's already got a ticket can come to those new events. If I have to, I'll have them at the studio and offices, which is kind of exciting, but also a bit daunting. So I'll have to make sure everything's really clean and tidy. Um, but there's plenty of space to have something like that there if I have to. Um, thanks, Lauren. You, you've missed the section earlier where um, one button came undone and I nearly flashed everyone. Um, yes, Fiona, you would fit in the new office. Um, there's, there's three offices. Um, it's quite big. You would all fit in. Um, it's just a bit... It, it's somewhat organised. It's organised chaos. Um, and there's a kitchen, so I have so the priority for the fridge um, to chill the prosecco that is there. Ah, um, oh, Charlie, do you know what? I need to take this on the road, and I've been saying this for a long time with the stitching socials. Um, to be honest, half of it is time and capacity and laziness. In that, if I have it close to home, I can do more. I literally am five minutes down the road. Um, it's a lot harder if I sort of have to pack everything up and get a van or something and go to London or Manchester or wherever it might be um, and sort of hotels and stuff like that and other venues. Um, but it's definitely something that I want to do in future, so watch this space. So back to the stitching socials for this year. Yeah, absolutely gutted. I feel like the last month or so has been a complete blur, but they will be postponed, so hold on to your tickets because you can choose another date. So there's 24 people who currently have tickets for stitching socials. Um, and like I say, they will be postponed until I can get a new date, which will be September, October, November, whenever it needs to be. If that is July or August, I will have them then. Although summer might be a bit tricky for some people. Um, or another option is that, um, yes, Carla, I do need a stitching social PA. Yes, please. Um, Another option is that we do some sort of a virtual stitching, virtual, virtual stitching social. Um, so I send you out the, the new kit with the new designs and everything else of your choices. Send those out in the post and then everyone receives those and then we stitch online. I know that is not exactly the same as all being together and I can't send you the Prosecco in the post. Um, but that is another option. Um, so I will send out an email. Um, but at the moment, everyone who's been in touch, everyone I've spoken to, has said that they want to keep hold of their tickets and come to the next one, whenever that might be. Um, I was planning on having six stitching socials this year. I was going to have April, May, June, July, and then two in November for Christmas. Anyway, best laid plans. Um, so yeah, so just email me if you've got any questions, but I'll send out an email, hopefully this weekend, um, with the details, just so everyone's clear on what's happening with the socials. Um, yes, Tracy, we could do that actually. Um, obviously, the price would be less um, for the tickets because I'm not paying for the venue hire. Um, I'm not paying for the Prosecco and everything else. So we could do that. I have actually got a lot of hoops and boxes and bits and pieces like that to send out. Um, so that's an option. So why don't I email the 24 people who've already got tickets and then I'll also email everyone and we can decide on a Zoom or something else. I think it would be better with Zoom to have smaller numbers, like six or eight people, um, 
Thanks, Jane. Thank you. You came to the last one, didn't you? You came to the Christmas one last year. Um, I remember because you had a really nice coat, Jane. Um, yeah. Okay, thanks, Rosie. Thanks, everyone. Um, okay, so, owl needle minders. I should really, I, I'll re ugh, I will stitch while I'm talking to you about this. Um, so, owl needle minders are here. Has anyone seen on Facebook or have you had your email? Really excited. Um, I seem to only do the needle minders at the moment with the stitch alongs. I hope you guys are going to love this new one. I say this every time. 86 people, hi. Um, the latest one, the positivity rules, the rainbow and the clouds and just the writing and the stars and everything, I think you're going to love it, um, is my favourite. Again, it's one of those where I'm like, I need it as a badge. Um, oh, thanks Fiona, you've got your owl. Um, yeah, Charlie, it might be. It's a bit like when we do uh, preschool ones or school with my children and there's like 20 children on and it's all a bit chaotic. Um, and I want everyone to be able to chat properly. Um, so that's why, excuse me, sorry. Um, so that's why it might be better having fewer people if we are doing a Zoom or something like that. Um, so yeah, so the owls are here. So I've got 500 owls. Um, I thought that might be a good number to just start off with. Um, otherwise things get a bit crazy. And that way I can package up the 500 and have them ready to go unlike with the koalas, which was a bit of a nightmare. Um, I think there were 1,400 koalas. And when everyone is at home and you've got no staff, it takes a while to glue 1,400 koalas. Um, whereas this way, I've got 500 owls, I can have them done, ready, and have them shipped out, and it's just a bit more under control. How many needle minders do you need? Is that a rhetorical question? I think we all know the answer. <laughs> Hi Michelle, hi Victoria. In fact, is there an owl here? Oh, there is an owl here. Hang on. Hang on everyone. Let me try and get the owls. These are actually unglued owls. Are you still working on the window? I am. Can you believe Charlie? I'm still, I'm not even stitching now. I'm just chatting. Whiskey, nice. So, are we ready? So because this one hasn't been glued, I can show you the back. So they're a brass alloy and that actually says copyright Caterpillar cross stitch, just so no naughty people on the internet try to steal. Um, and here is the owl. So these colours are the exact same colours as in Hello Pumpkin. Really shiny. Thick enough to be good quality, but not too thick that it's going to be heavy and it's going to weigh down on your fabric. So there's Mr. Owl, or Mrs. Owl. I don't know why, but I always seem to, whenever it's like the gingerbread man, why is it a gingerbread man? And why is it Mr. Owl, or whoever, um, or Mr. Koala? So from now on, they're, they're all going to be she's. <laughs> yes, Tracy. Uh, Catherine. Oh no. Catherine, get in touch if you want another magnet. Um, owls, £8.45. I have to add that because we have people from all over the world. In fact, someone contacted me the other day from New Zealand, which has just reminded me to add New Zealand dollars to the website. It is, it is. And my nan, I should do this every week in the same spot, and nan is there, nan and grandad. She would love the owls. Not even concentrating, and now I've lost my thing on the back. What has everyone been up to today? Up to 88 people, wow. This is the most I've ever had on a Facebook Live. This is amazing. Here we go, back in the game. Um, it's a funny one, isn't it? Normally Easter weekend, you know, everyone's in a good mood, everyone's off work, the sun is shining, which it has been today, it has been absolutely amazing. What is going on here? Um, but obviously not quite the same. This has all gone wrong. 
what on earth has happened here? Part of my thread has gone a bit funny. I think I've got part of the back trapped inside. Does that happen to anyone? Um, we'll fix that later. We'll fix it later. Um, so I am currently stitching with DMC 644. Here is my thread wheel and here is 644, which looks like a bit of a boring colour, but when you've got all of these gorgeous ones, you need something like this just to sort of balance it out a bit, to use as a bit of a, um, a contrast and a complementary um, sort of backing colour, because you can't have everything bright, otherwise um, it gets a bit much. Happy Easter, everyone. I hope your neck's better. Charlie, which cake are you going to start with for Happiness is Homemade? Oh, you've got a DMC thread wheel. They're great, aren't they? They're from, um, I just got this off eBay, I think, and they've got the, this little thing here. I've got quite a few of them. The only problem is when they're a bit old and a bit loose. This one sometimes comes undone. Um, but they're fine. Oh, no! Joven, is he okay? I hope it's not the virus. Um, thread wheel. They're DMC thread wheels. Um, or bobbin holder. And I just got it from eBay. I think they were like £2.50. And you get these plastic DMC um, bobbins. I think you can see it says DMC on one side and then it's got a section on the other side to write on with permanent marker um, the number I have no idea where to start um, I would start in the middle Charlie um, so you could start with the sort of the cake tower that's got scones on and it's got cupcakes and things like that it's got Battenbergs um, so have a look on there anything around the cake towel would be good in the middle and then hello pumpkin yes Maria right I just need to count this because as always I'm too busy chatting and not actually counting Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. right I've done too many stitches too many stitches I should be um I should be concentrating on one or the other. I'm realising it's actually impossible to... Um, 89 people, hi! To do this at the same time. Never mind. We'll figure it out. Luckily, this is only the sneak peek and it's not the actual stitch along. But it just goes to show I'm very relaxed about the old stitching and as they say, there's no such thing as mistakes. It just makes it your own. Okay, so, I mean, this is how far I've got, and here's my window. Um, I have blown it up a bit, it's not, uh, not normally that big. Right, what colour next? Let's do another flower, let's go for the dark purple, which is the 209. What else did I want to talk about? So, has anyone been doing house party? Has anyone got the house party app? Um, my mum has become obsessed with house parties. She house parties us all the time. Um, Wendy, yes. So all of the Facebook live videos stay on Facebook and you can re-watch them at a later date. Also, I put the Facebook live videos on YouTube as well the next day. So you can catch them there. In fact, people are still watching the one from last week. I don't think it was particularly interesting, to be honest. Um, it was just me drinking aspals. Um, 13, yes 13 whips Fiona. Nothing wrong with that, it's going to be a long summer. <laughs> am I making bags? Yes, I am making bags. Thanks for asking. Um, yes Melody, I will come back to house party. Um, yeah, I'm going to make tote bags. So there'll be canvas, over the shoulder, I'm trying to think if I've got an example, um, and they're going to have all kinds of different stitch related phrases on um, 
I don't think I can actually, my computer's here right now, I don't think I can actually get into the file. Um, but I've already got the six designs. Um, they're not going to be, ne they're not necessarily going to have a zip on, I don't think. Um, I'm getting distracted. Um, they're not going to have a zip, they're just going to be really nice, good quality tote bags so that you can use them for anything, you can use them for your shopping or whatever. Um, not necessarily to have your cross stitch project in. You could, you could put it in a project bag inside the tote bag, but the tote bags will be for everyday use, gym, work, school, shopping, whatever it might be, or staying in your own house. It's like a weird dream, isn't it, when you're imagining like the outside world when this is all over. What am I going to do? Where am I going to go? I'm going to forget what I do in my daily, daily life. I'm going to be going like on the school run, sort of skipping, like this is amazing, um, rather than dreading it normally. That is the only positive to this situation at the moment, is that I have always, for two years, hated the school run. Not because I don't like the other people, I love the other people, the children and the mums and the dads and everyone else, um, but I hate early mornings, always have, always will. Um, I keep trying to train myself to get up earlier and people say, you know, you can get into the habit of doing it. I'm such a night owl. I've been up till 1am pretty much every day this week um, and I'm awful in mornings. That's probably why. Um, so I am loving not having to do the school run, although at this time of year it's not actually that bad, is it, normally? Um, so house party yeah so my mum does a house party every night at seven o'clock for the children and it started off as this um like bedtime story because she couldn't be with them and slowly over the three weeks or however long we've been inside um it's developed and she has now built in her lounge i think it is a full stage although it's only this big with curtains, it's like the theater. She's got different characters who pop up on sticks all the time. Um, and then the children, because there's eight grandchildren in the family, so I only have two of those. Um, and they sort of send in requests in the day of characters or things that they want to see in the story. So every night we're doing house party with, across um, all the co cousins, across all of me and my sisters and the grandchildren. Um, of these amazing stories and also pub quizzes so tomorrow night very exciting um we're doing a pub quiz there's four couples last week we came second to last which i think is a quite frankly a victory considering in the geography round i think we got two out of ten um we were in charge of film questions and celebrity questions what am I doing here? Um, yeah. And um, one of the questions was on the Kardashians, which one of my friends absolutely loved because she knew all the answers. She likes the celebrity gossip. And my other friend was absolutely appalled that, um, that I had included a Kardashian question in the celebrity round. It wasn't really... Um, well, it was my choice, but I did have to think of 10 questions and I thought that might be quite a good one to put in. It doesn't mean that I necessarily am a massive, massive fan. Um, the question was, can you name all of the Kardashians' children? Which my husband thought meant, can you name the Kardashians, as in Kim, Kylie, Chloe, etc. 89 people, hi, 90. Um, but it meant their children. So some people knew every single one, some people hated the question. Um, so I'm not sure what topic um, I'm doing tomorrow, but last week's we had geography, a music round, film and celebrity and sport. Um, and it was hilarious. We got pretty drunk. I dressed up in like black sequins as if I was at some pub. Um, so who knows what tomorrow night's gonna hold? Not sure what our um, category is. I think we're doing food and drink and also children's TV because everyone's got young children and things like that. Um, love it, stitch it, Charlie. Yes. So in a nutshell, what's happening here? Um, so love it, stitch it is a, an online design tool. It's online software 
that you can use to design your own cross stitch patterns. So you can design them completely from scratch, you can upload a photo and have that converted where you can choose the number of threads, the brand of threads, the size of the design, everything else like that. Um, you can upload and convert artwork, so if you have designed graphics or if you have done a drawing or something like that, that will be converted into a cross stitch pattern. Um, and it's fully customizable, so you can choose everything sorry you can choose everything to do with it so you can choose the fabric count um, the exact type of fabric the color of the fabric the number of threads the shades whether that's DMC or anchor how many um, everything you can choose if you want to have it in black and white you can download it um, across different pages on one page you can view it in a hoop you can view it in a frame a stitched view so you can see exactly how it's going to look once it's been finished and stitched up um, and then another really exciting part of it is that once you've finished your design you can download that as a PDF um, and save it it will be saved you can save it both to your computer and also to your my design section of your account within the love it stitch it program or you can click upload to the marketplace for free there's no listing fee or anything like that so you have created your design, it will be sort of branded with your name or if you want to come up with like a design, um, like a designer brand, if you like, um, that will be on the PDF and then it will upload to the marketplace and you can choose the price of how much you want to sell it for, for someone else to, do to download that pattern. If you want it to be free, you can, um, I think. In fact, no, I don't think, I think there will be some that will be free. I'll definitely be doing some free patterns, but I think it's going to be something like a two or three pound minimum. You know, it could be like sort of five, six pounds or something like that, whatever, whatever you want within reason. Um, and that will go up to the marketplace and you'll choose your tags. So what category is it? Is it for Christmas, summer, um, Valentine's, Halloween, whatever it might be? Is it funny? Is it rude? Um, Again, within reason, there is a review process, um, so we don't want anything kind of, um, there won't be anything offensive or anything like that on there, um, or at least not too offensive. I'm talking like political offensive, not, you know, borderline bit rude. That's okay. Um, but there will be full review. There's obviously terms, conditions, and user guide and everything when it comes to stuff like that. But the patterns will be uploaded to the marketplace if you choose to. You whack it up there. Everyone all around the world will be visiting all of the stitches and they might not want to design a pattern themselves. They might want to go onto the marketplace simply to shop other people's cross stitch patterns. Um, and there will be so many on there to choose from. All of the Caterpillar cross stitch designs will be on there also. Um, obviously, I've got a lot of cross stitch designer friends. So I've already been talking to a number of them. Um, to uploading their patterns on there as well because it will be only cross stitch so it's exclusively cross stitch patterns on loveitstitchit.com there won't be anything else um, so it's a community exclusive for all of us to design, convert, upload, enjoy, share, sell, buy and then hopefully in the not too distant future there will also be a shop so once you've purchased a pattern you can click Yes, I would like the supplies and you will get sent through the post really quickly. Everything you need. So that's it in a nutshell and it should be done relatively soon. Can you only sell it in the marketplace, Jane? So if you design a cross stitch pattern using loveitstitchit.com, you can download your own PDF and it's yours to do with what you like then. You would own the copyright to it because you've designed it. So you can do what you like. So I suppose you could sell it wherever, basically. Can you search a designer if you get one you like? Yes, you can search by designer. Yeah, of course, Fiona. So in the marketplace section, there will be a search box. There are tags, categories. So if you wanted to, for example, search Caterpillar Cross Stitch um, or Fiona McCartney or whoever it might be, Victoria, um, and say you're, you might have a different brand name, you could change that to, I don't know, Little Bear Stitching or whatever it might be. Um, all of those designs will automatically be tagged with that designer's name. So you should, in the future, not right now, but you'll be able to favorite things, star them, add them to your wish list so that 
if you're not ready to buy them right now but you sort of think on the fence and thinking I might want to do that design at some point um, you can come back to those later yeah and then you can filter by designer so if you love everything that little bear stitchery does you can um, just go into their section um, and see all of the designs by that particular designer so yeah so in terms of time scales um, it's taking a little bit longer than expected um, I am working with a team of about five people on it they're all quite busy um, we're trying to get it done what is happening here we're trying to get it done as quickly as possible um, but there's a few bits and pieces that uh, need to be finished off but yeah I'm really really excited about Love It Stitch it's going to be amazing the thing is it's been in the works for quite some time um, so between Caterpillar Cross Stitch and Love It Stitch it it is literally all I think about day in day out um, thanks Michelle and Charlie thanks yeah I'm really really excited about it um, so we've got more staff coming on board people to help with customer service orders sending everything out helping um, potentially design some free patterns and do blogs and videos and things like that which frees me up then to concentrate on Love It Stitch It and designing the stitch alongs and things like that and of course doing a Friday Stitch with Sally <laughs> Facebook Lives um, so yeah I'm really excited I can't think what the other questions were now that we were coming back to I feel like you're gonna have to give me some leeway with this sneak peek because honestly I think I've miscounted her it's hard enough even at the best of times even if I wasn't doing a Facebook live okay so competition tomorrow to win a positivity rules kit um, there is a YouTube video going up on Sunday night I think um, which is from our new guest tutor Jodie um, so go over to YouTube and show her some love she would uh, really appreciate that so that video is all about finishing off your cross stitch pieces um, I tend to frame them to be honest um, and we tried to do what well, we did do the wall hanging for deck the halls um, am I even doing this right uh, but yeah there's all kinds of um, what's happening here hang on there's all kinds of ways to finish off your cross stitch project I clearly cannot talk and stitch at the same time um, so the video on the YouTube channel going up on Sunday is finishing off ideas um, there's some really cool ideas on there so make sure you go and check it out so my question to you is how do you finish off your cross stitch pieces do they go in a drawer do you frame them cushion is one um, has anyone stitched on clothing has anyone turned a cross stitch piece into something like a book cover or I've even seen them in magazines it always seems to be on like the front cover of cross stitch a magazine or cross stitch crazy they will do like a, a cross stitch thing and it'll be around like a mug or something and I think I wouldn't dare put cross stitch that close to a hot drink <laughs> hi Joe hi Rebecca can you show the section of the pattern so I'm doing this is a rainbow this is a window um, this is gonna be my second flower and this is the window that Diane's supposed to be stitching not very well at the moment this is the rainbow frame them make a pillow nice one although if I did a pillow I'd be like no one touch it no one lean on it Um, so yeah it's meant to be nice weather this weekend I think we've done quite a lot of gardening already it has been um, there's been a lot of gardening going on in our house so I feel like I've kind of exhausted the old gardening thing especially with the children we've planted every single seed that we have or well, bookmarks is a nice one because I suppose that way you get to see it every day when you're reading and also it'd be quite well looked after I would just be really hesitant to do anything that um, might damage them and I've been trying I, I mean I haven't been to any shops or anything like that um, 
but I, my head have been trying to get a sun lounger, which is something I probably should have done at the beginning of March, because I'm now thinking if I've got another three months of this or longer or who knows, the children can play in the garden and I've only got one chair and it's really uncomfortable. So my grand idea was to get a proper sun lounger, a really nice one. Imagine that I am on the holiday that I should be taking in a couple of days. What day is it? The 10th. I should be flying to Tenerife in two days. Not happening. Um, anyway, and lounging in the garden with my drink. Um, but obviously, I can't get a sun lounger now, so I'm just going to have to imagine. I'm just going to have to get a towel, I think, and lie on the grass. Me and my friends keep messaging each other and saying, Oh, I'm in Tenerife right now. I'm here. I'm here. And just pretending. And sometimes, if you think hard enough, um, you can imagine you are wherever you want to be. Hi, Becca. Hi, Rebecca. And what's an egg chair? Is it a chair that's shaped like an egg by any chance? <laughs> is that a brand? The thing is, you can't get anything. I feel like Caterpillar Cross Stitch is literally one of the only places still open because people keep emailing me um, and saying, you know, that so many other places are completely sold out um, and have just stopped functioning, basically. But we are still up and running. I have, um, we are out of stock of quite a few of the children's alphabet samplers. Um, but all of the main ones, so the most popular ones, Seize the Day, Deck the Halls, Hello Pumpkin, Adventure Awaits, uh, Dash Away, 12 Days of Stitchmas, what else? All the main ones um, we do have in stock and we have plenty of them, so they are all available. We've got hundreds if not thousands of needle minders, owls, koalas, beach huts, there's been a lot of Seize the Day and Beach Huts going out. Um, it wasn't yesterday, day before yesterday. I think everyone's like, I wish I was on holiday right now, um, stitching their beach scene. So yeah, I'll show you the needle mind of the positivity rules on Monday. How about that? A hanging chair. Rebecca and Fiona, is it something that my children um, would destroy? because everything else in my house and garden seems to be cracked or scuffed or broken. Um, having a boy is very different than having a girl, I am realising. And my flower is also out by one square. But not to worry, because I'm just going to go with it. Difficult to get into. What I'll do, Fiona, is I'll get into the egg chair, and then I'll just shout my husband and get him to deliver the wine. I think... Uh, I think that might be the best bet all round and the safest really. Um, the other trees, Linda, so there will be a spring, summer and winter tree to match, obviously not exactly match, um, but to complement Hello Pumpkin. So the winter tree will be coming in time for Christmas. The and the plan is for the spring and summer trees to be with you around July. How about that? Um, hopefully, I'll see what I can do. I will do my best. One thing I have been desperate to finally finish off is the children's cross-stitch kits, which I've been doing, I think, for about 18 months. Not that it has taken that long to do them, because they're all designed. I love the designs. Um... I've got the fabric, I've got the threads, I've got special needles for them, they're really nice, um, I think they're stainless steel, really nice needles for the children, obviously blunt, um, but they're going to be packaged really nicely so they're not some sort of, you know, sometimes with some children's things, not necessarily cross stitch, but some children's kits are really poor quality and it's almost like they think I'm going to make it as cheap as possible because um, the children won't notice, but whenever I open something on behalf of my children, I think, oh, you just, you don't want to be disappointed. And I think that our kids and nieces and nephews and grandchildren deserve the quality that we enjoy with our stitching. Because if we want them to get into it and enjoy it as much as we do, um, I want them to have the best. 
So all I need to do with the children's kits is finalise the packaging. So our printers and packing place is still open. They're just a bit slower than normal. Um, so I'm going to focus on the children's kits because they are nearly ready. Positivity rules comes first, then children's kits, then the other trees. And the pouches are coming. We've got more of the normal project bags coming and how many? 500 of the brand new style ultra amazing project bags coming soon as well. For the children's cross stitch kits, um, we'll be using DMC thread, um, but just one strand. Well, not one strand, six strands, um, but one piece of DMC thread. I didn't want to use wool or anything like that because um, that's sometimes quite hard to stitch with and it snags and stuff. Um, this will be easier for the children to use, I think. You know, there's no, in fact, that's actually four strands because I took two off to stitch with. Um, so yeah, but it will be the six strands. It will be the DMC just as it comes, I think, because that'll be really easy for them to get started with and there'll be no faffing around and they've still got the great quality of the DMC cottons. Um, needle miners with the other season trees. So there will be a needle minder with the Christmas tree but it's not a Christmas tree, it's a, it's a winter tree, um, slash Christmassy. So that will have its own needle minder. Um, we also have the camper van needle minder, which is gonna be released in June. Um, will anyone be able to go camping in the summer? Who knows, we're actually meant to be going camping in August, down to Devon? Can't even remember. Um, so hopefully um, some people will be able to get away, may maybe. I suppose camping, you're not really that close to anyone, potentially. Um, but anyway, the camper van needle miners will be out in June. Um, and yes, potentially uh, there will be other needle miners to go with the spring and summer tree. Um, Carla, yeah, was, was that for your one of your children? Yeah, the wool, um, my little one has done, my six-year-old has done a cross-stitch kit for kids with wool, and um, it was awful. It was really plasticky. It wasn't proper wool. So I thought, because I have so much of the DMC cotton anyway, um, and I've pretty much got, well, not every single colour, but the vast majority of the colours, it would be easier to um, just put those in the kits. Got the thread holders, everything's ready to go. Um, so Felicity, who is six, she will be testing everything to make sure um, she's a pretty hard customer to please. So hopefully that will be a good test to check that she likes the designs um, and the contents and that she can do it. Um, so they're going to be aimed at around six to ten years old. There have been some children who have been ten and over who've actually just done some of our normal cross-stitch kits. Um, but these ones are not gender specific. Um, there's various colors of Ada um, to go with them. So yeah, hopefully all the children will love them. So I've just finished the second flower here and I'm going to move on to the next flower. Am I, or shall I carry on doing that? Or let's go crazy. Let's do some of the rainbow. And then there's also a word um, but I think I might save the word for next Friday and hopefully by then I will have finished the window and the rainbow. In fact, I definitely will because I'm going to put up um, a, a photo of this stitched sneak peek in the video for YouTube and all social media, which goes through absolutely everything um, to do with stitch along. So, yes. The designs, Carla. Do you know what? When I, it's it's hard to say no to people when you're doing a Facebook Live. This happened last week when everyone was asking me questions, and I just ended up giving everything away. Um, there is a unicorn. Yes, there is. Of course, there's a unicorn. Who doesn't love unicorns? There is a pirate. These haven't been chosen by me, by the way. We had a very hardcore. Um, feedback group of six, seven, eight year olds who chose the five, six designs um, of what they liked. 
There's a pirate, there's a unicorn, there's a mermaid, who I actually prefer to the Seize the Day mermaid, only because she's bigger and way more detailed. Um, and I'm going to leave you the ones as a surprise. So, so in the Stitch Sneak Peak, we're going to have the rainbow here, we're going to have the window, and then the word, any guesses from the clue positivity rules, is going to go here. It's not a very big word, it's four letters. Um, so you'll be able to see the font, the style, the colours, and kind of how I do it. If you've done Dash Away and or Deck the Halls, especially Deck the Halls, you will have a pretty good idea of the style of typography and things that I do um, in the cross stitch kits. Yes, Hayley, I'm excited that you will be with us. Right, let's try and get this right, shall we? It's that, um, it's, I mean, there's no one even talking to me right now, but is anyone else when you're trying to count and someone walks in the room or your husband or someone starts asking a question and you're like, I'm trying to count, stop talking to me. I always like, have to tell myself, up one, miss one, stitch one, six across. Two, three, four, five, six across. We're going for it. So I'm now using DMC 3838, which is a really rich blue, to do the next line of the rainbow, which, by the way, I put a lot of time and energy into triple checking the scientific order of rainbow colours. Because I know you guys will appreciate the accuracy of the strips, stripes, what do you call the colours of a rainbow? Have they got an official name? Yeah, the phone rings, just anything. People just do not appreciate it. So the colours of the rainbow, and um, this is the same as the needle minder as well, we've got purple, blue, and then I think we've got 963, which is a gorgeous sea green, and then we've got the yellow, and then we've got the red. It's not really bright red, it's more of like a mahogany, um, or a terracotta even. There we go. Dirty Victoria, your husband just shouts out random numbers. How annoying. Does anyone else's husband do this? I mean, literally, me and my husband have been together for nearly 13 years. He either won't talk to me, e.g. not through having a falling out, but just, you know, will be silent, or will then ask about four questions in one row without waiting for any answer. So it'll be like, ba 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 and I'm like, what do you want me to answer first? Like, I don't, can you just do one thing at a time? Is that red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet? Yeah. Oh, Richard of York, game back. You guys, I should have learnt this. Red, orange, yellow. The thing is, we couldn't have that many, so I haven't done every single line of the rainbow. Um, but they are correct for what they are. But yeah, my husband asks a million and one questions. Sometimes I think he's just talking to himself, but trying to talk to me, but actually he doesn't really need me to answer. He's just kind of talking for the sake of it. Um, you'd think I would have just learnt by now just to ignore him. It's definitely a test, isn't it, of any relationship being in the house all day long together for weeks and weeks and weeks on end. It'll probably be really weird when we go back to normal life. We'll probably, like, enjoy it for a couple of days and then really miss everyone. We'll be like, can we go back home and be with people? Indigo. Yeah. Is anyone watching any good Netflix series at the moment? We started Designated Survivor recently, which a lot of people had recommended. I know it's quite an old series, 
um, but I'm loving it so far. I keep calling him Jack Bauer. I cannot deal with the fact that it's not, what's his name? Um, I can't deal with the fact that it's not 24. Because even the music, like everything is the same as 24. Um, what's his name? The actor from 24. I feel like his surname begins with an L. Um, your husband's out working. Yeah, Michelle. Tell us about the groups. What do you do? Oh, thanks everyone for all of the recommendations. That's it. Keith is Sutherland. That's the one. One thing I recently watched on Netflix that I loved was called Self Made, which was about this woman. I should remember her name, really, given that it was a really important. What was her name? It was like a really important. She was a really important, influential figure um, in America. And she created this hair care company um, completely alone. And that was a really good series. And it's got the actress in it. I want to say Octavia. And she was in um the film about astronauts what did you play in the band michelle and the musical society i want to be in this society we're at quite a musical household here i keep saying to the children that during lockdown i'm going to get out the instruments um but they're a bit young to kind of appreciate it and I feel like they're just going to ruin it and kind of like I played the flute for a long time um and they'll want to have a go but it's so precious to me <laughs> and they'll want they'll probably like bash it around um and I've had this flute since I was 10 11 um so it's really precious and I almost like don't want them to touch it um the piano that we have which actually um, me and all my sisters learn on and also my dad and I think his parents got it so the piano is probably from like the 1930s or something they it sounds awful but they kind of bash away on it the stickers on it and that kind of breaks my heart so I don't want to get out too many instruments um, Tiger King everyone keeps going on about this and there's a Tiger King podcast actually on I want to say Wondery, I'm big into podcasts at the moment, um, and I started listening to that, and it kind of freaked me out, I was like, what on earth is going on, what is this Tiger King? Ladies in Black, oh yes, is that the Australian one, Natalia, Ladies in Black, the Australian, and they're in the department store. Oh, violin, nice, I wish I could play the violin. I used to love playing in orchestras and bands and stuff like that. I played the timpani drums when I was about 12 once. They're the huge ones, right? They're about your dong, dong, dong. Um, and the saxophone for a while, thought I was Lisa Simpson. This is back in the early 90s. I think that was the only reason why I quite liked the sax, because she plays it in the intro to The Simpsons. 1950s. Oh, I'll try that one. Um, what else? Cello. I did like the cello. A bit big, though. What was strange, Charlie? Unorthodox. Unorthodox, actually, is the one that keeps popping up on Netflix, and it keeps saying, recommended for you, number one in the UK. I love the orchestra. I might try and find one near to me, actually. Not that I have a lot of free time to do that kind of thing at the moment. Um, not that I'd be allowed to, anyway. In fact, let me try and put the pattern there. That's better. Then I can look at you and do it at the same time. I need a stand, don't I? I did a blog post last week um, about accessories. Go and check it out if you haven't on the website, on the blog, um, about advanced accessories and stuff like that. And one of them was a stand. And I haven't actually got one, can you believe? Um, here we go, back on track now. Has anyone already eaten an Easter egg? 
I have. I've got absolutely no Easter eggs left. I had a really nice one from Nomo, N-O-M-O, -O, which is dairy free. Um, and they do this really nice salted caramel. That went, that went a week ago. And then I had a Cadbury one the other day. Does anyone else think that Easter egg chocolate tastes different to normal chocolate? I just like that it's a massive egg and it's smooth and I just like to eat the whole shell. So yeah, there will be nothing left for me on Sunday. Good Girls Netflix. That sounds fun. Robbing a grocery store. Grace and Frankie, that's another one actually that keeps popping up. And I also just started um, watching Gilmore Girls that people have been going on about for ages and ages. Um, and I love both of those actresses. That's quite a fun one. I'm only on episode two at the moment. Yeah, Advent calendar chocolate as well. It, it, it's really hard, isn't it, at this time of year, given that it's Easter and we had Mother's Day um not to be with our families it's really really strange although i've got to say i definitely found it much harder at the beginning in the first week or so um was really weird to kind of get my head around everything but we seem to have to a degree settled into a bit of a routine and also i've become much more relaxed and have definitely lowered expectations there's something going around on instagram at the moment and facebook and it's about mums trying to do everything trying to work trying to homeschool, clean the house, cook the dinners, keep the kids entertained and everything. And it's just not possible. Um, so if your house is trashed, it's fine. If the children on their iPads or whatever, it's fine. Um, I know mine are kind of just enjoying being with us, playing in the garden loads, getting the sprinkler out. Um, they keep making like assault courses and stuff in the garden, so they quite enjoy that at the moment. Um, and it was my little one's birthday uh, recently. So there's lots of new toys that people have sent through the post and stuff like that to play with. Uh, the Good Wife, is that a political one? Is she supposed to be the first lady? What brownies with cream eggs on top? That is not wrong at all, Fiona. That's not wrong in the slightest, that's genius. Although whenever I have a cream egg, I only eat it in about three sections. The top half of the chocolate, the centre and then everything else. And it's amazing for like a minute. And then I get this ridiculous rush of sugar. I feel really weird and really sick and almost like it's too much. It's too sweet in one concentrated hit. Like the stuff inside the cream egg is like pure sugar, isn't it? It's like drugs. Um, oh, thanks, Charlie. I've definitely lowered expectations. Um... And actually, another good thing with the kids, it's like, do the washing. Go and collect the dirty clothes, show them how to use the washing machine. Obviously, I've been careful with, like, the tablets. They watched the washing machine for 10 minutes the other day. That was amazing. Um, I've given them wipes. They've cleaned the house. I even got them using the actual Hoover the other day, the proper one, not their toy one, which got thrown away because it was so irritating. Um, washing the cars. Might jet wash the driveway tomorrow. Gardening. Weeding learning about money. We have got play money. Um, but I've started to say, you know, the more jobs you do, you might get paid for it. I'm glad that's the right way to eat a cream egg, Liz. That's the thing, Hayley. It's like everyone's just got to give themselves a bit of a break, I think. And actually, having done that, it does make things a lot easier. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. And doing um, Zoom live videos, doing house party stuff like that. We even had an Easter bonnet parade for my son's nursery this week. Um, that was really nice. So all of the children took it in turns. That was on Zoom to do their little parade around their own gardens and everyone could see each other. If nothing else, the children are getting to grips with using sort of video conferencing facilities very well. By the time they're at work, it will there'll be um, a dab hand at using Zoom and Google Hangouts and everything else. 
I hope they don't forget how to actually interact with human beings in real life. They might see a friend or someone like across the road and they're like, wow, hi, you know, from afar, like it's you, a real person that's not mummy and daddy. That's good, Hayley, that you still get a lesson plan. That's really good. We don't really get anything. We get stories. Um, they've actually started a YouTube channel and um, they do live stories. We have had some dances. Uh, I don't know if we've had any PE. They sent home seeds for them to grow and do like a gardening diary. But we haven't had any sort of strict homework or lesson plan or anything like that. We've got a couple of books and then luckily uh, we had a few books anyway which were for my daughter's sort of age and level of reading so we're trying to go through those do a bit of phonics and stuff like that um but yeah we've been quite relaxed this week actually um but they have been staying up a little bit later and then getting up later which is nice um yeah lots of playing in the garden in fact you can actually a day does go quite quickly um it reminds me of having a newborn where the months seem quite daunting when you look at it sort of when you say six months or three months but actually the day by the time you've got up had a shower got dressed and breakfast and lunch done an activity we're trying to do the Oti Mabusi Moana or Frozen dancing we still haven't got round to it we've done quite a lot of Joe Wicks um, and then do an activity go for a scooter ride or a bike ride dinner time bath time bed done White wine spritzer time. Wow, Tracy. Although they are a bit older, so secondary school. That must be quite good though, is it? Because do they then sit there with their teacher and do their actual work? Or is it quite hard to get them to do it? One, two, three, one, two, three. So the kit for positivity rules is going off to the sample stitcher, the test stitcher this week. Well, not this week, next week, because we've kind of finished the week now, haven't we? Um, so that's exciting. I'm doing the preview now. There's going to be some graphic sneak peeks as well. Not graphic like that. Just graphics as in um, of the actual grid so that you can see the pattern. You can see the symbols and how it will look when you get PDF um, emailed to you. So pre-order for this one, I've just changed, if you actually go to the website now, um, I've just changed one of the main homepage banners to be the Positivity Rules banner. Um, so pre-order is going to open on Friday the 24th of April and we're going to start stitching our part one of Positivity Rules on the 29th of May. It's a Friday, I'm pretty sure it's 29th of May. Um, and also, if you order a full priced kit for Positivity Rules during that um, pre order period, we're giving £3 from the sale of every kit to Chess. Um, so it's got a bit about that as well on the website. Um, and in the video that I filmed today, um, it's just a way to give back to the NHS and um, key workers and everyone doing such an amazing job at the moment. Um, so if you aren't in England, I would definitely suggest ordering the Positivity Rules kit sooner rather than later, just so that me and the team have got time to post it out as early as possible. There's five weeks of pre-order period, um, so the sooner that you can get them in the better, and during that pre-order period, um, those donations will also be collected and made to the NHS and relevant charities. I think at the moment there is one main body who are organising the charitable giving for the NHS. Um, I did have a look today just to double check. Um, but yeah, I, I can't even imagine the work that they and I'm sure some of you guys are doing out there saving lives and uh, keeping us all safe and protected. So thank you. There's a lot of birthdays going on. That's National Health Service, that's here in the UK, if anyone isn't sure. Basically, doctors, nurses, everyone, hospitals, everyone who is um, fighting the fight against coronavirus. 
So yeah, hopefully we can raise quite a lot of money. Well done, Charlie. I can't even, I actually started crying today. I don't know if that will make the cut of the video, um, but I just started crying just imagining what on earth it must be like. I mean, I'm scared leaving the house, um, cleaning my hands a million times a day, and you guys are literally going out and putting your lives on the line to, to save everyone else. It's amazing. Oh, we're also doing, um, which haven't actually been sent out yet, but I did have quite a few nominations for NHS and key worker entries um, to receive free cross-stitch kits. Um, so I'll be sending those out next week. I'll put it up on social media or email people on Monday. Um, of people that had nominated someone else that they said was doing a great job um, or was stressed or tired or whatever it might be who at the end of their shift would want to sit down and relax doing some cross stitch so we're going to send out a bunch of free cross stitch kits to all of those amazing people as well happy birthday Liz I'm sorry that you couldn't see your parents my mum keeps doing hugs on the phone. She keeps going like this and like literally getting really close up to things. She goes, I'm hugging you now. <laughs> That's amazing, Charlie. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for joining me. Um, let me just finish this up and show you where I'm up to. I will try and do a bit more uh, in the week. Week? Weekend? Literally, I'm forgetting what day of the week it is. Let me do that. Okay, so I've got my koala needle minder, a um, bit more of the rainbow, a bit more of the uh, window. Um, so, thank you everyone for joining me for our second ever Stitching with Sally Friday night Facebook Live. I will be here again, same time, next Friday. Will it be wine? Will it be cider? Who knows? Um, so thanks for your comments. Thanks for joining me. Um, have a wonderful Easter weekend, whatever you get up to, hopefully in your garden. Um, we should be getting nice weather. Stay safe, look after each other, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.